name is Kayla Bell. I'm 13 years old. I am in eighth grade, and this is my black tan senior doe, Babette. So here we're going to do showmanship today. We're going to start with the pose. So tans are a full arch pose. So their pose, when they're running, they're a running breed. So start from the nape of the neck and slowly and gradually go down into a nice curve. The other poses are the compact, which we're going to use the Havana for instance. It would start from the nape of the neck and round over to the end of the table like a basketball. Commercial. The commercial is pretty much the bigger version, so it'll round over and go a little bit larger. They're pretty much your meat breeds. Your semi-arch would look like half a light bulb. It would start out flat at the shoulders and would raise over and then come over to the bottom of the table. And then your cylindrical is only one breed and my sister calls them the hot dog breed. They come and they just pose straight out. The tattoo number is B A B E T T E. Now we're going to look for mites, ear canker, carriage, thickness, color, torn or missing portions, and fur covering. Now we're going to flip the rabbit over. On the eyes, the proper color for this rabbit would be brown eyes. We're going to look for proper color, blindness, walleye, moon eye, weepy eye, or any signs of conjunctivitis. On the nose, we're looking for snuffles, nasal discharge, or any foreign spots or colors. Also on the nose, usually when the rabbit gets snuffles, they're going to want to scrape the snuffles off. So we're going to look on the insides of the paw to see if there's any matting or if it's wet. Now we're going to go on to the teeth. On the teeth, we're looking for malocclusion, buck teeth, wolf teeth, pig teeth, and broken teeth. Now we're going to go on to the front feet and legs. We're looking for four nails and one dew claw. One, two, three, four, five. We're looking for broken or any extra missing toes, mismatched white missing toenails, bone density, dew claw, and pads. All right. On the belly, we're going for abscess, tumors, abnormalities, pigeon breast, blemishes, and mastitis. Pigeon breast is usually the rib cage is round, while pigeon breast is when the rib cage comes to a point and it can be razor sharp. Now we're going to go on to the rear feet and legs. On the rear feet and legs, we're looking for four toenails on each foot. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we're looking for broken or extra missing toenails, mismatched white missing toenails, bone density, straightness, and sore hocks. So the hock on a rabbit is pretty much right here. And sore hocks is when it gets scabby or it can get bloody. This usually happens on the larger breeds. And to prevent that, you're just going to want to put a flat board in there. Now we're going to go on to the sex. We're going to see if it's a buck or a doe, and as you can see, it is a doe. All right, we're going to look for vent disease, hutch bird, split penis, and de descended testicles in intermediates and seniors. Now we're going to go on to the tail. We're looking for rye tail, dead tail, bob tail, broken tail, colored, and straightness. So now I'm going to move on to the fur. We're looking for luster, density, texture, rollback, flyback, which a tan has flyback. Flyback, when you stroke from the table to the nape of the neck, it flies right back into position. Rollback, when you stroke from the table to the nape of the neck, 
it slowly rolls back into position. Rex, which is really short, is in the Rex breeds and the Mini Rex, and it's really velvety, so it's really soft. Standing is only in one breed, that is the Silver Fox. When you stroke from the table to the nape of the neck, it stands straight up. And Wool is in the Angoras, Jersey Wooly, and American Fuzzy Lop. All right, so now we're gonna do judging comments. On judging comments, I am pretty much doing the job of what a judge is. I'm gonna relay what I think, how good this rabbit is. So, she's got a good head, great ear. She could use a little bit more on her eye circles, a little more boldness. I love her triangle. Her P spots could be a little bit more bold, but other than that, they're really good. I love the luster on her fur, though she does have some pretty long fur. Her tan factor, it's nice and a ri deep, rich red, but as it gets to the tail, it does uh, cream out, so it gets a little bit lighter. As you can see, her demarcation line is a little bit low, but other than that, it's pretty good, except the fact that she's growing some tan hairs here and up here. Is there any questions? Thank you, and have a nice day.